Hi, this is Maginani, and here's my uh, comic reviews. Uh, I know I've been a little bit late with some of these, but I've been kind of busy with video games and movies uh, this weekend, so I'm a little bit behind. I uh, saw Super 8, really enjoyed it, but I think I only enjoyed it because I didn't go in there with the expectation of it to be a giant monster movie. I knew that uh, they are going to focus more on the uh, kids. So it didn't bother me as much that there wasn't as much alien time as I wanted. But anyways, uh, here's um, some reviews for you. We got Hulk number 34, uh, Planet Red Hulk Part 1, Annihilators 4, Ghost Rider 0 0.1, and Mystery Men. And I'm going to do Mystery Men first, because this actually was the surprise uh, hit for me. I really enjoyed it. I didn't When I first saw it in previews, I was just right over it. Uh, but actually this turned out to be something interesting. Uh, as you can see here, this is basically a standard period piece. And there's a, there's a couple things going on. There's um, Superheroes are kind of like just starting out. And you have, I keep forgetting their names, um, the two main ones are Revenant and The Operative. And The Operative is this guy here who kind of looks like Tony Stark. And, you know, he's like this really rich guy. Comes, actually, let me rephrase, he comes from a very wealthy family. And he basically put, dons a costume, as you can see here. Um, and what he, he, I guess you can say he's a Robin Hood. What he does is he steals from the rich. And he literally gives that money straight to the poor. Uh, since this is, takes place during the Great Depression, uh, there's people who, um, you know, obviously are having their, uh, their, their homes taken away and things like that. So what he's doing is he's leaving little bundles of cash so this way they can uh, keep living. Now while that's going on there's this guy named the general here and the general as you can see here is up to some black magic you know no good and what he's doing is he's basically trying to um, resurrect uh, this ancient evil type thing and um, basically what's going on is um, he's he's giving the enough sacrifices so this way he can get, get to reach his goals, but what he needs to do is he needs to step it up now, and he needs to go to cause like a greater catastrophe to power this creature up, and um, that, so that's what that that's leading. Now, while that's going on, obviously you have this missing girl, and that's the girl right here, who uh, the operative had a little connection with at this party. Now. The uh, girl thinks that the general is this other person. He doesn't quite look like this, you know, because he has a, like an illusion. He does magic and stuff. And so what they need to do is, because she's gone missing, they need to pin the um, um, murder on somebody. So they pin it on him. Little do they know he's really the operative. Um, now, from there, it it goes into your standard uh, chase type scenes. But then I think what was really cool is this revenant guy, and that's this guy right here. Uh, he's, you know, I know this is going to be the wrong example, but he reminds me of a, uh, almost like a Batman-ish type because of the way he just comes out of the shadows type thing. Uh, but this guy's got powers here because, like, as you can see, um, he's able to catch a bullet in his hand. He obviously has some degree of strength, and um, he's got other powers. And he joins up with the um, operative. Now, I've, based on this cover, it looks like there's gonna, obviously going to be more mystery men. And I'm, I really cannot wait to get issue number two. I'm going to put this on my um, pull list at my comic store so that way I can get it. I, to be honest with you, I, I, I really enjoyed this art also. It's just, I don't know, like when you see um, like the big named artists, you know, who are doing like the Hulk, Justice League, um, Superman, Spider-Man, you know, things like that. You know, it looks really nice. But... When you see something like this where it's um, really stylized and it, it really has this appearance of like this age, you know, meaning it you know takes place in the depression, um, I I really this book just really stands out and I really really uh, I, I really like it and um, like I said I really look forward to the next issue. Uh, next issue is Ghost Rider zero point one. Now obviously you know Ghost Rider is having a new issue, a uh, new relaunch coming out. And basically what this is doing is saying, okay, here's the character Ghost Rider. Um, Johnny Blaze used to be the Ghost Rider, but uh, he talks to a demon-type person, 
who doesn't quite look like a demon, as you can see here. And he basically says this is how you break your the curse. You need to, to ride and basically you need to ride fast enough so the spirit of vengeance is stripped from you. And obviously the spirit of vengeance is going to go flying into another person. So that's just the gist of it. It's just an introductory. Uh, I mean, the story actually didn't make me want to just give a sigh of disappointment. So that's really good. Uh, it was decent. It's not what I would call amazingly good, but it was decent. I like the artwork, especially with the fire. I don't know. With, with me, what makes or breaks Ghost Rider is the fire and the, and the skull and the fire and the wheels. If it's got good art for that, then I'm all for it. Now, the only sad thing about Ghost Rider is the fact that this is a demonic type superhero that's obviously like a spirit of vengeance. And what do you do with a spirit of vengeance? You can't make him fight Green Goblin. You can't make him fight Scorpion. It just doesn't quite work. Then in the same token, you can't always have them fight demons because when you start doing that, then it, you know, some of the traditional comic book fans can't identify with fighting demons. You know, they want Red Skull, they want um, Porcupine and Stilt Man and Melter and things like that. So it's kind of like, it's a shame because it's like this book that's in a weird state of, I don't know what to do with. Um, but hopefully they'll be able to figure out what to do with it and maybe make a good, um, good run from it. Next up is Annihilators number four. Now, I did not want this cover. This was the only cover that was available to me. My comic store did not pull this book from me, and this is what I was stuck with because this was the last copy. Now, keep in mind, this is the last copy on Wednesday at noon. I was shocked. I didn't think it was that popular. But anyways, this is the conclusion to the... Um, Annihilator's Dire Wrath um, uh, battle. You get a little background history of what's going on with this. Um, oh man, I keep I'm having a bad day today. Uh, that doctor, whatever his name was, that's causing all the problems. And you get a nice little battle between Immortus and them bow and things. Uh, Quasar basically goes up to Immortus and says, you know, blah blah blah. We need to do blah blah blah. And Immortus goes, well. I could kill you, but I know you're important later, so I'll let everybody live. And I kind of really thought that that was a cop-out answer, but, you know, what do you do? This is the last issue, and you start the big battle. So I'm like, what do you do? You're stuck, you know, so I accepted it. Now, what I didn't, ex I, I thought, well, this was actually, I, it, for me, it started off weak. It got good. It built up this fantastic momentum, but it is, I think the ending fell completely flat in terms of action. I really, really wanted to see fist punching, you know, bodies everywhere, eye beams, you know, Better Ray Bill throwing his hammer and on, you know, cosmic um, essence or, you know, cosmic blast and everything. And I didn't get all, of, I didn't get my fill of it. But that set aside, this actually is an extremely important book. And I, I appreciate what they did, and I fully accept the way it ended because of the importance of this book. Because what this is doing is it's reestablishing the dioramas or uh, in, in, into the Marvel Universe continuity, and obviously they they have really big plans for it, for them, and that's why I think this is really, this is, mark my words, coming into the future when these things start appearing, you know when. Um, um, you know, these guys start appearing, you're going to want to know why. Who are these people? This is, this is the, this tells you why. This tells you who they are, why they are, where they came from, what their motivation is. If they get angry, you get the gist of why they're angry. But right now, they're kind of, they're like, a, they're beaten dog right now. You know, some, just imagine a dog that's been hit by the master with a baseball bat for, you know, years, and finally the master's gone, and then he lets them outside, and you can imagine what the dog is like. Uh, eventually, that dog's gonna be pissed off, and you're gonna see trouble. But um, so actually, I really did only because I understand the importance of this. I enjoyed it, but I really, I just wanted annihilator ass kicking is what I wanted. And finally, Planet Run Hulk, Hulk number thirty four. I, I got this on a whim, and I and I have to admit, I'm, I was really disappointed. And what I mean by I'm really disappointed is, 
I just really want to know did did these guys Parker and them really and the editors have really no ideas on what to do because this is exactly Planet Hulk you know I understand that this is going to be a shorter series I think it's like a two two issues or so so it's in and out but it's the same you have Red Hulk going um, up to the spaceship to fix it oh look what happens a button accidentally gets pushed and push you know the Red Hulk is transported to another uh, world on the other side of the excuse me the universe and what happens he meets the strange alien race who has this dictator gladiatorial type um, world and battle ensues and now we have King Red Hulk um, so I'm like really it, did you have to go there again you know I don't know I mean I just don't know but that said I thought the art was really good uh, I, I like for example I like this page here uh, there's some really good um, there's some really good uh, uh, creature and uh, I don't really want to spoil it well what the hell I'll spoil it because you already know how it's gonna end but um, you get um, where is it this was probably my favorite uh, two-page spread where the Red Hulk just smashes the guy and um, this for the most part sold me on the book but um, I'm just like I'm really disappointed really really disappointed I would have rather have seen the Hulk bash the rhino like that then I would have been like oh yes that's awesome but anyways that's my review for those books uh, if you have any comments or questions let me know uh, rate the video up or down let me know what you think I'm kinda curious to know how many of you guys are planning on getting Ghost Rider and um, if anybody else got in the stream and what you guys thought so um, until next time